Hey, what's up, Mikey? I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, your, your win over Adrian Broner sure. and uh, the importance of that. Well, you know what? Um, when we uh, fought Adrian Broner, we knew it was a big fight. It was a high-profile fight. Um, he's an accomplished world champion, and I wanted to kind of get a good feel at 140 pounds, see how I felt. And that was a solid, solid opponent to, to fight. Um, on fight night, I could tell that he was definitely the bigger man. Um, I, I felt the, the size advantage, but I still felt comfortable enough at that division where I felt I could compete with the champions, right. with, with the, the active world champions. Right. And that's why now we're, we're taking on this fight with uh, Lipinets, because he is a champion at 140. I can expect size advantages from him, but I think my skills will still be, be enough to, to uh, overcome this challenge. That was, uh, uh, Adrian Broner is known for having a lot of like haters, so to speak. Uh, did you get a lot of people coming up to you after the fight like, hey man, you did it, you, you quiet him uh, up? Or? I, I get a lot, a lot of messages <laughs> like that uh, through social media and after the fight there. Um, the people that didn't really know who I was sometimes, they now know me because of that fight. Cause they, they would watch Adrian Broner, maybe just because they dislike him. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's, it's part of the sport, it's part of sound. Um, Adrian Broner has has done a lot for the sport, even though some people don't acknowledge that or don't give him the credit. He accomplished a lot, you know, four divisions, you know, four 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 time world champion like that. It doesn't doesn't just come by every day. So he uh, he has you know his his, his uh, haters, yeah. but you know it's just part of the sport. How how many family members do you have that are actually involved in boxing or boxed at one point? Well, uh, two other nephews box professionally. Uh, one other nephew boxed in the amateurs. Um, my brother's kids, they're involved with, with training. Pita being the oldest, he's, he's the assistant trainer for, for my camp and assistant trainer for the gym. Um, younger brother, Bayo, he, he did it for a little bit, but right now he's, he kind of decided not to, not to continue um, training fighters. But he's still always at, at the gym, always involved. Um, so you come from like a big family it's, it's of just boxing. The boxing. And, and of course my brother was a boxer, world champion, and my older brother Danny was also a fighter. So it's just, it's just you know, runs in the family. Is your older brother the one who was training? Um, uh, the guy who headbutted Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, the, uh, he's, he's uh, Ortiz. With, uh, Ortiz yes. is, he, is he still training? Or? Yeah, uh, Danny's still Danny. training. He's got a couple fighters. He got two fighters from Dallas actually. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually helping them out as well. I'm gonna be launching my, my official launch of my promotional co for, uh, company. Yeah, I overheard you saying you're still uh, a free you know, agent. I've had it, and I've been co-promoting myself. <laughs> I just don't put no banners up or anything like that. But I mean, when you're one-on-one -on -one with the promoter, that's what you do. You co-promote, you negotiate together, you work on the details. Uh, but I didn't have the need to have fighters and, 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 and put a show of my own, so I had never done it. But now I've been getting a pool of fighters, fighters at my brother's gym here and, and some in, in, in Oxnard. And a lot of people want your help. So they've asked, and, and I'm, I'm going to be uh, launching this up here. That's awesome. And uh, when, when is it launching? Well, we're, we're looking at a date, actually. Uh, to host my first show in the uh, spring, early spring. Okay. So maybe, yeah, maybe March or April. Maybe more like April is this what I'm thinking. Um, so I just gotta focus on this fight, and All then right. I can then I can focus on the promotional. Side. Hey, well, we'll keep an eye out for that, man. Yeah. Thanks. Pleasure, pleasure talking to you.